It appears there's more trouble brewing within the Underdark adventurer. Members of Bregan Darth, or more specifically Jarlaxle, has sent missives here to protect his enclave in hopes of reaching you. Speaking in riddles and using mixed words appear to be his style, so there's not much here in the summons for you, only that you're respectfully requested back at the Whispering Post. Ah, I see my missives have found you in good health. I have got some work for an adventurer of your renown, if you're up for it, that is. My cousin Nuri has gotten herself into some sort of trouble. She was permitted to study at Sorcerer rather than become a cleric of Lowell, so I imagine it has something to do with magic. She was scant on the details, but I wish to send aid her way. Think you're up to the task? They will speak of us in whispers. I've got so much to do. You look like someone who can help. Interested in getting your hands dirty? Oh, good. My cousin has heard my plea for help. Listen, there's not much time to explain, so we should get started right away. Okay? Okay. I'm glad Jarlaxle sent you. Are you familiar with the planes? Particularly the Abyss? Did we talk about this already? Well, there are other planes of existence with different rules on how things work, different from here on Torum. Recently, something has caused both planes to be connected in spots, and magic from the Abyss is seeping into our city. I've been studying it secretly with mages from House Faberge to stop the spread. We actually cast a magic ward, but it failed terribly. A lot of people were hurt. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I need to finish my research here, but we need help locating some of the injured mages. Can you reach them and bandage them up? Some of the mages have already expressed their thanks. Those are just the mages who don't have any of my old spell lingering within them. Thankfully, we can easily heal them. Let's get right to it, shall we? A new form of magic has shown up in the district. Well, it's new to us anyway. We've never seen anything like it, which means it can only be coming from one place, the Abyss. I started studying the magic before any of those stuffy old mages from Sorcia got here. I thought I'd be able to stave off this magic with a spell of my own, but the experiment blew up in my face. I mean that literally, by the way. The explosion destroyed part of the House Fae Branch Villa and scattered several of the family's most powerful artifacts across the district. That was before things started to get really out of hand. Can I count on you to locate some of these items and return them to me? I must return them to House Fae Branch right away. I'll get these back to House Feybranch right away. Thank you for taking care of this while I keep researching this abyssal magic. I see you are trustworthy. A new situation has come up that requires your attention. Firais, one of the mages recruited by House Feybranch, has come to plumb the depths of the abyssal tears that have been occurring throughout the city lately. I am sending you to him to help with his research. Hopefully, you both can find a way to stem the flood of demons flowing into the city from the Abyss. Entering into combat with the denizens of the Abyss is no small feat in and of itself. Demons and creatures of the Underdark represent a myriad of shapes, sizes, and lethality. As you grow more accustomed to the tactics of those that lurk in the Abyssal Tears, you may wish to modify those challenges in the hope of greater rewards. You're the new help, aren't you? Excellent! You look far more capable than the last one sent to me. Enough small talk for now, though. There is a good deal of research to be done, and very little time in which to do it. You see, I've managed to lose one of my colleagues, a scholar named Sobmers. We were plumbing the mysteries of the lesser abyssal tears that have been appearing throughout the city after Nuri's little mishap. Anyhow, Zobmers managed to get a bit too close to one of the tears and vanished into it. While it is wonderful that she demonstrated that the tears can be traveled in both directions, she seems to have been misplaced. It would greatly help my research if you could be a good little helper and fetch her from that tear for me. Hopefully you can find her in one piece. She had quite the sharp mind, 
And it would be a pity to need a new research partner so soon. The darkness of the Abyss could conceal the secret that will help push it back from our home. Really now? This is a most pleasant turn of events. I had long since given up all hope of returning to Menzo Baranzen. Thank you for your assistance, adventurer. I really should return to the others and share my findings with them. What is that? Oh, you found her! Yes, yes, very good. You were able to rescue one of Virais's colleagues from one of the Abyssal Tears. These abductions are a new development that will warrant further attention in the days ahead. You should take this new information and use it to seal the tears when you encounter them. This should help lessen the impact of the abyssal energies that are disrupting the fabric of the Narbendelen. Additionally, Virais is entrusting you with this box filled with mutators that can be used to help you use the chaotic energies of the abyss to increase the rewards earned from sealing abyssal tears. These increased rewards do come at the cost of granting a boon to the enemy that you face. But such is the way of abyssal energy. It is a blade that can cut both ways. While you were helping me, we set up wards to slow the spread of abyssal magic. This should give us time to plan. However, before we continue, Jarlaxel trusts you, and I think I can trust you, especially since you're not part of the establishment here. May I be honest? This magic coming from the abyss? It's not a random thought. No, I'm not behind it if that's what you're thinking. It's actually my cousin, Grant Bainwraith. Do you know who he is? He used to be the one and only Archmage of Menzel Baranzen, the wizard responsible for channeling magic into the Narbendel and turning it into a clock each day. Listen, I'll explain more later. For now, I just need you to go out and check on these ward crystals. If you find one inactive, just reactivate it. We need to ensure they stay active for as long as possible to buy us some time. The wards were down again? This is not good. At least you got them working again. We'll have to check them periodically to ensure they're still active. This is the only way we can contain the spread of this abyssal magic until we can work to stop it permanently and shut down Grove's mythal. Doorways to the abyss are loosing demons upon the district. Oh, and it gets worse. Any mages who attempt to banish these demons are quickly overpowered. They're going to need our help. Ugh. This is all my cousin's fault. Gromf cast a powerful spell, a mythal, inside of the Narvendel, and now that mythal is leeching magic from the pillar. If I understand correctly, Gromf plans to use this newfound power to connect our plane to the Abyss and trap Lolf within the confines of the Narvendel itself. He wants to exact revenge by turning it into a prison for her. I have a plan, but we can discuss that upon your return. For now, I need you to locate and rescue any mages subdued by the demons. Quickly, before they're torn to shreds. They're safe. Great. My cousin Gromp will pay for this. His mythal is... Perhaps I should just tell you. When I said cast a spell to stop his magic, it was more of a device than a spell. I'll explain more later. I went to House Feybranch and asked Matron Halavan for assistance because I knew she would do so quietly. I'm not too fond of drow politics, but Halavan is. She knows that if she assists House Bainwraith, it will bode well for her entire house. Dead. My research? It's just a cover story. This is more about stopping the spread of magic. As I said earlier, I wasn't using a spell. The mythal Grump created cannot be stopped with any spell I can cast. It's far too powerful. Changing the very fabric of magic requires something of Neveri's design. After delving deep into the oldest archives of Sorcier, I found plans for something called the Realm Engine. It is a metamagic apparatus capable of manipulating arcane energy in various ways. We got one up and running, but we failed to properly tune it. Fluctuations from the mythal rendered it useless and caused it to send a shockwave through the city. The burst was so powerful that it blew the house apart, and then bent the space-time around it. Those who fled not only abandoned the engine, 
They left behind the schematics we used to build the blasted thing. I believe an adventurer like you may be able to return to House Fay Branch and locate the plans. Please head to the Fay Branch safe house and speak with Matron Halliden. She will help us salvage whatever we can. Hmm, I don't believe we've met. You're not from one of the noble houses, are you? Oh, you've been sent by Nori. But where are my manners? Is there anything I can do to be of assistance? The Narbendalen district is being overrun. While we work to deal with the abyssal magic in the region, House Fay Branch has been spread thin, pushing back our enemies. We need adventurers from Neverwinter, such as you, to ensure the safety of our citizens. Such expedient returns. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. It is good to know House Fay Branch can count on you during this time of need. Here is your payment. Return to me in half a fortnight, and we shall request your assistance again. Part of House Fay Branch's attempt to curry favor with House Bainray involves completing various tasks for them. One such task involves pushing back a group of hostile drow that has infested the city. We have much to offer adventurers, such as coins and trinkets you can use to barter for better equipment. Complete any of the tasks listed in this scroll, and I shall see to it that you are duly compensated. It is done, then. You adventurers are both resourceful and dependable. Return to me in half a fortnight, and we shall be ready for this task once more. The scholars of House Fay Branch are working to undo the damage caused by the influx of abyssal energies, but tears remain in the Narbendelen, Deathcloim, and Brayron districts of the city. Travel into Menzoboranzan, seek out abyssal tears, and close them. Return to me, and we can speak about compensation. I have heard from Virais that you have made a great deal of progress closing tears within the city. Closing those portals to the abyss should stem the tide of unfettered demons running loose in the city, while we work to deal with the seeping abyssal magic. House Fay Branch will have need of your assistance in the days ahead, but for now you are owed compensation. Matron Halliden has sent word that her house is still missing a significant number of powerful artifacts. A lot of them have already been returned, but we should assist her. She's been doing a lot of work for me lately, so it's the least I can do. Matron Halliden sends her thanks. These powerful artifacts would cause a disaster in the wrong hands. We're still trying to learn as much as we can about this abyssal magic in the city. We need you to take some of these arcane testing stones out into the district and place them at sources of magic. This will help us to better understand what we're dealing with here. All done? Fantastic. This will be very helpful in our study. We managed to heal most of the Feybrand mages who were injured, but there are still many others in need of healing. Take these bandages and use them to patch up any remaining mages you find. We appreciate the assistance. Those mages have sent word of your deeds. Much appreciated. We're trying to learn more about the hostile threat here in the Narvindale. We captured one who was carrying a sigil we've never seen. We would like to gather more of these symbols for study. To keep houses Bainray and Feybranch out of this, you are needed. Interested? Great. I'll get these over to the Sorcerer for study right away. I just received notice that a number of our mages have been captured. It seems they were unable to escape when the Feybranch villa collapsed. Can you rescue them? You have my thanks, and of course, your payment. We're having a difficult time researching abyssal magic due to all the hostile drow in the district. Would you be willing to clear some of them out for us so we can continue our work? It would be a big help. Oh, and you can rest assured that we will make it worth your time. I know it's a messy job, but I appreciate you taking the time to handle the hostiles. Fellow drow or not, they were getting in the way. <laughs>